it looks like Brendan has removed a date he was meant to do for Skankfest. Now, this is really dicey because this kind of gives me an indication. And again, this is shout out to everybody in the, in the chat. Shout out to people in the flipping subreddit. I think people were calling it from before and I didn't believe it. But I think people were calling it and saying that Brendan would most likely cancel Skankfest. And I was saying it's impossible. He would never cancel Skankfest. He needs, at this point, he needs Skankfest just as much as Skankfest need him. Because don't be mistaken, Luis J. Gomez is obviously a bit of a, I wouldn't say he's a grifter, but he's a little bit of a flipping, um, he's a little bit of a, what's that word called? Um, he's kind of doing this for his own, you know, for his own benefit, really. Obviously, he would love it if he was able to get in friendly with Brendan. That would maybe reestablish or rework his relationship with fucking Rogan, I think. Because, you know, Rogan, for some ever reason, doesn't really like Luis J. Gomez, it seems like. He's okay with Big J. He's okay with Dave Smith. But he doesn't seem to have any, any time for Luis. So maybe in this case, he's looking at it. Hey, let me get right with Brendan. In another way, he also knows there's a big community of people who don't like Brendan, obviously on the sub, people that watch the stream and other bits of content. And he knows that he could capitalize on it and get some extra views and a bump and maybe get some people subscribing to that shitty gas digital shit that he's going to get Brendan on and essentially make a fool of him. So in a way, if Brendan was in a better position in life, in general, he probably would never go on Skankfest. If I was Brendan's friend, I'd probably tell him, don't go on Skankfest because they're obviously only getting you on the show to embarrass you. They don't want to be your friend. They don't think you're funny. They don't think you're cool. They kind of just want to, you know, embarrass you like on camera and obviously reap the rewards for it, which is pretty scummy to do, to be honest, especially if you're, I think it's, 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 it's whatever when it comes to us, you know, I'm a random person. I'm just a fucking member of the public. I'm just a fucking cheater finger. Um, you know, mama's basement dwelling guy, right? Um, don't drive, don't have fancy cars, not rich or anything, fat as shit, all that sort of stuff, right? I'm, I'm just a nobody. So it doesn't matter what we have to say. But I think if you work in the industry and you're a fellow professional, fellow comedian, having another comedian on, unless it's a roast and just to kind of ridicule and embarrass them for your own gain, it's kind of scummy. Not going to lie. It's kind of, kind of scummy. And if I was Brendan's friend, I probably wouldn't tell him to go. But it's not my business. So let him do what he wants. And at this stage of his career, he actually needs Skankfest more than they need him weirdly enough he actually needs this because i said this from the beginning if he goes to Skankfest and he actually is able to not be thin-skinned um be somewhat self-aware um and is able to take a joke um and is able to sh fall around sh you know shoot the shit he actually may come out of it smelling like roses because a lot of that Skankfest um legion of skanks fans they don't really know the law around brendan too tough they don't really know they don't really care you know i mean they, they're like every fan base has like they're kind of obsessed with their guys so i think those guys are obsessed with their guys right so i don't think they care so i think he could win over the Skankfest crowd quite easily if he just has a good time takes it on the chin and just keeps it moving he could easily win them over especially if he gets lit and stuff has a drink smokes and stuff he could really win them over so he should go on there but i also think you know they can't they're basically exploiting him like let's call the spade a spade but i'm interested to see what you guys think of this clip because it, he's taking off a date he's not doing the sunday and he was gonna do the sunday before because i've got the flipping um original post here from the final kid subreddit that i'll show you so this is the post right from the final kid subreddit that was posted i think four months ago from brendan's twitter and you can see here that originally he did have he did confirm that he was doing Skankfest from the 29th to the 1st of October. That was when he was obviously going to do it. So he's now changed his mind and he's not going to do the Sunday anymore, which is a bit bit suspicious so close to the date um, that he's now suddenly decided to become a family man because I'm sure that's one of the reasons why he's not doing the Sunday. i got to get home to the kiddos, all this sort of nonsense that he kind of always speaks about. So that's why he's probably not going to do the Sunday. So this kind of lends a bit of credence to what everyone was saying before that he's not going to turn up. A lot of people are saying he's not turning up, he's not turning up. And I don't know, you guys are kind of right, man. This is a little bit sus. Why would you cancel a Sunday so close to the date? Like, what difference does it make now? Do you know what I mean? It's so, it's so close to the date. Like, I don't see what would have popped up unless, again, he's pretending to go home to be with his kids and shit. Or maybe by that time, actually, to be fair, maybe by that time, I don't know how far along his wife is. Maybe she might have given birth by then. Maybe that's the reason why. I'm not really too sure. But either way, it's very, very weird. So let's play the clip of him. Um... Uh, what you call it? Um, confirming that he's going to not do the Sunday anymore. And then I can get your opinions in the chat. 
I'm in Skank Fest, Vegas, September 29th, uh, 6th through October 1st. I won't be there on Sunday, right? I got to get home on Sundays, but I will be there that Friday and Saturday. And then uh, I'm in Iowa, October 13th and 14th, one show Friday, one show Saturday. Niagara Falls, that's a casino place. I need fans to come out. Otherwise, it's a weird room. So what do you think that's about? What do you guys think that's about? Why is he all of a sudden not doing a Sunday? What are you guys saying in the chat? Um, I'm here for the Chin War Vlog Talk. Stig Agree, a big up Stig Agree. As a skank, i got to tell you, you are wrong. Really, Shades Cow? Do you think the skank fest... Um, tell me, Shades Cow. What do you think I'm wrong about? Do, do you think I'm wrong about the skank fest crowd w being willing to like give them a chance? Or am I wrong? L let me know in the chat what you think. Because I think they might be all right with him. I think if he has a good time on there, I think the Skankfest crowd might be chill with him. Because I don't think they really care about Brendan as much as we do. I don't think they really give a shit, to be fair. And they've got their own, you know, delinquents in their own little group. Okay. Um, so many haters have showed up to be hated and get mad love. No, yeah. I didn't say Bre I didn't say Brendan would not get love. I don't. I think you're mistaken what I said. I didn't say he didn't get love. I would say I said Brendan should go to Skankfest. Because I think it's going to be good for him because he will come out of it smelling like roses. You'll have a good two week window of like good grace on the internet because of how willing he is to be shitted on and have a good time and joke and shit. You know, have a little laugh about the drug walk, about Kalila shit. That's what I think. I think he should, he should actually go. You know, that's what I'm saying. I think he should go and have a good time because I think the Skankfest crowd will, will, will instantly warm to him the moment he's able to take a joke. Because they know he's, you know, he, he he's down to clown. Because Skankfest, basically, especially Legion of Skanks, from what I've watched before, if you're down to clown, the crowd love you. If you start to act a bit brand new, start to act a little bit like Pete, like Whitney Cummings is a good example. Whitney Cummings, I didn't think would do well on Skankfest, or sorry, on Legion of Skanks. She went on there, was able to clown, and completely won over that room. And I'm sure before, a lot of those guys and girls probably wouldn't be fans of of, of Whitney. But she won them over because she's just, she just willing to kind of like, you know, shoot the shit and be silly and not take anything too offensive and shit. I think, I think Brendan will do well if he goes, to be fair. Which is why I'm surprised he's so like, apprehensive clearly about going like just fucking make yourself a little bit uncomfortable for once brother like i'm sorry you're not surrounded by rogan all the time but you did it yourself you fucked up your career now you kind of need to go to fucking skankfest and you know have the haters and the trolls you know i don't know give you a second chance and shit i don't know i find it odd that he's that he's so clearly apprehensive about going Shit, case of Moses. Yeah, AZ was wrong about him not turning up. I mean, yeah, exactly. I was definitely wrong because he's already cancelling one date. It's weird. Um, Colin Leach said, that's why he should definitely do SF. Their crowds will welcome him with open arms and it can be a good opportunity for him. Exactly, 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 Colin Leach. The clips from that will be brilliant alone for the social media. To see him getting dunked on, him laughing, firing back a little bit, it's all going to work out brilliantly. He should just go. Just let, just, just, you know, put down the what you call it don't be so afraid um put your guard down a little bit and just go you know what i mean um Uche is saying i think the first night gets dicey he doesn't want to be ob obligated to return <laughs> that's actually a really sensible way to look at it Uche. i'm not gonna lie you're actually probably right that's actually a good point if if the first night goes badly and you have to stay there until sunday <laughs> <laughs> that's friday that's a long time so i understand so maybe yes maybe it's a good maybe maybe that's actually a genius move say you can't do sunday if it goes amazing and then they pay you extra to stay on sunday then of course stay money talks um i think he's only going because callum booked a, a t fat k show still it's a good idea to go i, I don't think it's a bad one i think a lot of the scanfets community is pretty familiar with bapa law lewis is always dropping some sort of homers yeah i, I think Caden, i think you're right but i don't think they're as as Brendan would say, I don't think they're as balls deep as the teeth as we are. I don't think there's that balls deep. And also I don't think they care as much. I think if 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 for instance the teeth if if Brendan ever did like a, a live show in front of like homeless cats, he would never win over the crowd ever. But I think or the majority of them he would never win them over. But I think on you know, in any other live event, if he goes there and he's willing to be a bit vulnerable and open himself up to flipping ridicule, he wins over the crowd in an instant. Lucia Gomez needs Rogan cosign. Um, he'll keep. Yo, big up Colin Leach. Appreciate the, the super chat, brother. Big up X T H X for all the great content. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> well done for I, I love the cheers pronunciation thank you colin leach i appreciate you brother thank you so much for the super chat bro um but yeah um i don't know i'm surprised man i'm really i'm surprised why he's cancelling that sunday it's not a bad it's not a good sign it really isn't a good sign man this 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 nigga is scared bro this nigga is scared like so weird like aren't you meant to be a comedian like why are you so scared it's only words like and it's any and if anything if anything gets dicey he could legitimately murder everybody in that room anyway you know what i mean like honestly with his fucking bare hands he would kill anybody there so i don't even know why he's that bothered if it gets an, that annoying just jump back on the jet and go home it's not that big of a deal but he's already canceling little dates i can't be there on sunday have to be there with a the kid i was just like brendan come on bro like for once in your life just put take yourself out of your comfort zone I'm sorry you're not surrounded by Rogan or all the fucking killers and the rat packs from fucking, you know, the, the comedy store. I'm sorry that that didn't work out for you. I'm sorry they all kind of ditched you after all the allegations. You know, it's not a good thing, but come on, bro. You kind of need this. You need this. Like, just go. Um, can be there some sensitive people on earth. Yeah. To be fair, yes, they are Stingagoo, but I think Brennan's another level. Brennan's another level. Like, Brennan, you can't even correct what he says. Brennan gets, like, twitchy. You can see the, like, the rage you know boiling up in his brain if you correct him like in terms of a pronunciation or you correct him in terms of a fact that he says and that he got wrong he does not like getting corrected he doesn't like being told anything like he doesn't respond well to like criticism pushback he's not that kind of guy which makes it funny how he even became a comedian to be fair because you would imagine you know constantly getting that anyway in terms of comedy and stand-up you kind of need that feedback if you want to get a better if you want to be a better comedian you kind of need to be able to kind of you know be able to uh take that in in some way but he can't at all so i don't know just go to skank fest have a good time let your guard down be a bit silly um if it gets a bit dicey just jump in a crowd khabib style and fucking run through everybody legitimately run through everybody dash choke everybody in that fucking in that fucking you know in that auditorium or in that event you, you probably only need to fucking knock out three people and then everyone will fucking get scared and then keep it moving. It's not, it's not, it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? But he's too scared to go. Um, and again, there's confirmation here that he did cancel that date because he was already, you know, he was already advertising these days, as you can see from the Fire the Kids sub. Look at the dates he was, he was advertising. You know, Covina. Yeah, so look, he had these dates on September. So he obviously had Skankfest down for 29th and 1st, but he just decided to cancel the Sunday. Very, very odd move, to be honest, and not a good omen for Skankfest. So if you do see him cancelling the whole entire thing, it should be no surprise, really, because clearly he's nervous about it. And um, maybe he has good reason to be nervous. Maybe Brendan has a good point or a good reason to be nervous, judging by this clip that I found in the fight in the kids sub. Maybe he has a good reason to be nervous, right? <laughs> because look at how they spoke about him here uh covinia exactly yeah covinia big the watcher you know what go on uh, look at this clip of how they spoke about him at the last gang fest last year absolutely heinous mate your fellow colleagues your fellow brothers in arms look how they're, they're discussing you oh he's done a lot beautiful all right so uh all this tragic stuff happens in the and the most tragic thing that happened in April was Brendan Sharp releases Gringo Poppy <laughs> on April 28th, 2022. I don't understand, I don't understand the Brendan Sharp hate, right? Because, I mean, obviously I understand it. But, like, right. <laughs> but everybody's doing it now, you know what I mean? It's, 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 people are very angry. At well, it's like, because comedians are all... By the way, just to kind of jump on that, the doing it very now, that now thing was a great point by Nick Mullen. But the reason why everyone was doing it at that moment was because of flipping, what's her, what's her name? Kalila and um, the other fucking woman, the truck walk lady. Those ones are the ones that were brave. They were the canaries in the fucking coal mine. They're the ones that fucking jumped out there and actually risked their fucking careers by calling out Brendan. And then that's when all the dominoes kind of fell. Before that, all the... Com Ali Liederman, sorry. Thank you for the, thank you the chat. Before that, all these male comics, ironically enough, these supposed alpha males, these hunter gatherers, they were so chicken shit of upsetting Rogan and not being able to go on Rogan's show by saying something bad about Brendan that they didn't say anything. The moment those ladies stepped out and said something, all of a sudden everybody flipping then decided to grow some balls and say something. And the thing that's funny about this is that they didn't need to go as hard as they went, you know, all these comedians. They could have just made a joke out of it. They, they refused to even acknowledge 
the joke of Brendan's career. No one's saying that these comedians should have been dunking on Brendan in 2019 like some of us were maybe on the Fire and the Kids sub and stuff. No, you don't need to go that far. You're, you're his fucking colleague. You're his brother in arms because you do the same fucking career. You don't need to go as hard as some of the trolls and the haters do on the Reddits and shit. But they refuse to even call out the hypocrisy of his career. The fact that, so, that he was leapfrogging some of these guys who have been in the industry for like 10 plus years, grafting, struggling, standing on the at the door of a comedy club and taking tickets and shit, having to work behind bars, working four jobs to, to, to you know, to finally realize a dream of comedy. And then this guy comes in because he's friends with Rogan, he completely jumps the queue and they refuse to even acknowledge it and, and they refuse to even acknowledge that they're pissed off. You know what I mean? Or that it's unfair and stuff. They just refuse because they're so scared of upsetting Daddy Rogan. Now, a couple of ladies step out. They grow some coronas. They actually grab their nuts and let it hang. And now suddenly all these comedians have fucking courage. Get fucked. Oh, like emotionally stunted people. Yes. And it's like somebody broke the day. I don't know who it was, but one guy was like, what if we made fun of the retarded kid? Yeah. And now everybody's like, get him. Yeah. I don't know yeah. What the fuck. Thank you, the great Mike Harrington. Right, here's a, here's a reality. He, Brandon has a legal right to do comedy. Yes. <laughs> that's the, that's, we live in America, and he is legally allowed yeah. to do stand-up comedy. And that's a country I love. And it's a country I love. You know, so what is it? I know, but it's like, it's... Yeah. Like, oh. Anyway, um... I don't know, man. If I'm Brendan's friend, you can't go places like that. Honestly, you can't go. Or if it, if you're his friend, you go with him, because it's not gonna be good. You know, it's it's not gonna be good. <laughs> you know, like it's been so. I don't know. Being a sur being surrounded by that kind of energy from people, because a lot of it as well. Let's be fair. Like, let's be fair. No, let, let's be fair. Let's be real. A lot of that energy that he gets as well, especially from other comedians, is jealousy. I feel like. Because I don't, I don't really feel like there's a lot of jealousy in the kind of Bapperverse. I don't think it exists really. I think people are just bemused that how somebody as redacted as him could be where he's at in his career. But I don't think anybody that watches this streams, you know, I don't know, wants to live his kind of lifestyle. I know I don't. I don't give, you know I mean, I don't give a fuck about that stuff. It's not really for me. I don't really care. I don't look at comedians as having like the best job in the world. It's whatever, isn't it? It's a job you do. If you're, if you're good at it, you're good at it. But it's just fun to kind of, you know, take the piss out from afar. But I think comedians are probably some of the most jealous, envious people in the world. So I could, I bet a lot of these guys despise Brendan because of his relationship with Rogan and the fact that he's been propped up by him and of how successful he is or monetary, you know, the, the fucking material things that he has or even career wise that he's got, you know, he's got a Showtime special. Not everybody has that. It's not good, but not everybody has that. I'm sure there's some comedians out there who are like legitimately jealous like legit jealous <laughs> so they're gonna use this opportunity to kind of dunk on him while he's down and out because it kind of makes them feel good about themselves you know what i mean like it's kind of pathetic to be fair it really is because they could have said something before they didn't wanna and now he's down and out they're fucking kicking him while he's